verse 2. Psalm chapter 23. Verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. And he leadeth me beside the still waters. Turn me to Ezekiel chapter 34. In verse 14. I will feed them in a good pasture. And upon the high mountains of Israel shall their foe be. There they shall lie in a good foe. And in a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel. Revelation chapter 7, verse 17. For the Lamb, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. I want you to pay very close attention to verse 2 of Psalms 23. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, and he leadeth me beside the still waters. I want to speak from a continuation of last Sunday, a resting place, yes, yes. part two. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. We said on last week that for sheep to sleep, everything must be just right. They must be free from predators and they must be free from tension in the flock. We found out last week that we need our shepherds to warn off those who would try to do us harm. You see, your shepherd understands that there are those who are jealous of the favor that is on your life, not realizing the purpose God has for you. So your shepherd warns off those individuals who would try to hinder the move of God that is upon your life. Then we found out that la on last week that in order for sheep to lie down in contentment, they must be free from tension among the flock. The continuous conflict and jealousy within the flock is going to have to cease. Amen. The rivalry and competition for status and self-assertion has got to cease. Yeah. Wanted to be in control, wanted to be the big cheese, wanted to be the head, I mean to be the HSIC, the head sheep in charge, and, and it causes the sheep to always stand up and defend themselves and defend their rights. So like sheep, we need to understand the presence of a shepherd to keep peace in the body. Yeah. Now, the presence of the shepherd let the sheep know that it's gift. There's no need for you to fight. There's no need for you to buck head. The shepherd lets the sheep know that your gift will make room for you. Right. You don't have to compete. You don't have to step on anyone to get ahead. You don't. You don't have to be jealous of one another. You don't have to be. You don't have to backbite. You don't have to be envious of anybody. You don't have to lie on anybody to get in front because your shepherd knows. He said, "I know what you are capable of doing." Please. 
thieves by flies and ticks. When they are bothered by these insects, it's literally impossible for them to lie down and rest. I, 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 I see my dogs, and during this time it's starting to get hot now, that you have these, 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 these laser flies that like to fly over their nose and bite them on their nose and lie sores to go over their nose. They always flap in their ears to try to get the flies off of them. Always scratching to try to get the flies off. Flies are just nagging them to them. And even the ticks are coming up on them. And, and the stand of the sheep lying down, they are up on their feet, stomping their legs, shaking their head, yeah. Yeah. ready to run to get away from these annoying pets. Yeah. We know the more you try to, to swallow flies, the more you try to stop your feet, the more you try to shake your head, the flies just keep coming back, yeah. and they keep coming, and they keep coming. Yeah. Only the care of the shepherd yeah. Yeah. who up. keeps a custom lookout for those insects when the shepherd knows that the insects are tormenting his sheep, he applies various types of uh, uh, insect repellent to his sheep. He would even dip his sheep down in some uh, repellent to, re uh, to free them from ticks. All right. Then he would make sure that there are trees and bushes around mm -hmm. so they can go up under. And hide and find refuge yeah. and be released from their tormentors. Mm -hmm. The shepherd knows that there is something wrong with the sheep when the sheep behavior changes. Yeah. God knows that there's something bothering yeah. us when He sees yeah. our behavior change. Yeah. When we don't come to church Sunday after Sunday, yeah. God knows that He sees something wrong in your behavior yeah. pattern. Yeah. When He sees that you're not smiling all the time, He knows that somebody is messing with His yeah. sheep. Yeah. When He looks at you, He sees that you always sad and down. God sees your pattern of your behavior change, yeah. and so I need to find out what causes my sheep yeah. to be in the shape. As soon as there is the least evidence that they are being disturbed, he must take steps to provide them with some relief. Yes, that's right. Just like the shepherd take care of his sheep, yes. God does the same thing for us. Yes. The devil put things in our way to irritate us. Yes. He put things in our way to frustrate us. Yes. He put people in our way to annoy us. Yes. And he, he put people in our life to bug us. Yes. And you need to know that your shepherd has an antidote yes. for those things that the devil sent your way yes. to plague you. God said, I know you've been trying to shake it off. He said, I know you've been trying to shout it off. I know you've been trying to stuff it out. I know you've been trying to swat it off. I know the presence of life seems to weigh you down. God said, I know your financial situation got you so frustrated. God said, I know that the army upon your face beginning to irritate you. God said, I know that things both are said about you is beginning to annoy you. But God said, I know you got a past problem to apply some spiritual repentance to keep them off you. You know, I got something that's going to keep them off you. Don't you worry about it. I'm praying, I'm praying close attention to what's going on in your life. I see your food change. I see your behavior is changing. So I'm going to come to your rescue. God said, I got some, I got some insect repellent. I got some spiritual insect repellent that's going to repel them from bothering you. God said, I got a can of, of what we call no weapon. No weapon for the issue is going to prosper. That's why I got the antidote for you. He applied a can of wicked repellent. According to David in Psalm 27 and 2, he said, When they wicked, even my enemies call out the Lord, come upon me to eat up my flesh. He said, They stumble and they Yeah. 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 Yeah.
integrity, strength, and calmness in the face of frustration. When I turn to my shepherd and expose all of my problems to him, because I do it because I want him to know that I have a deliverer. I want my shepherd to know I have a problem. I want my shepherd to know that I'm experiencing some difficulties. Yeah. I want the shepherd to know I'm having some situations that is beyond my control. Yeah. He brings, he bears my shepherd yeah. will come in and assist me yeah. when I'm in need. When I let God know that my problems are beyond me. When I let God know that I can't cope with my situation. Yeah. When I let God know that this mess is bugging me. Yeah. When I let God know I can't rest because it's too much for me. He comes into my situation and he takes over my situation. Yeah. 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 When I ask him to come in and take over, then and only then will he come in and take over in his own way. Not in my way, yeah. but in his way. Yeah. God comes in and applies the healing yeah. and an effective antidote of his presence yeah. to my situation. Yeah. Thank you, and then immediately, there immediately comes into my consciousness. Yeah. The awareness that God is dealing with my situation yeah. in a way that I cannot anticipate. Uh -huh. And because of this assurance, I have in him that he is working it out on my behalf. Mm -hmm. That comes over me a sense of quiet contentment. Yeah. I am then able to lie down in peace yeah. and find rest. Yeah. Then, the, then the, the Bible says the fourth thing that needs to happen in order for the sheep to be able to lie down in green pastures. Yeah.
to see his sheep full. Yeah. And they're ready to lie down yeah. and rest. Wow. Nothing is more satisfying to God as to see his children fed full of his work. God said, I don't want you to be weak. <laughs> he said, I don't want you to be ill fed. Because ill fed sheep are always on their feet. Yeah. Wow. Ill fed sheep are always on the move. Ill fed sheep are always searching for any type of food to satisfy their severe hunger. Mm -hmm. They are not contented. They don't grow. They are not using themselves, nor are they used to the shepherd. God said, I don't want you to be hungry. I want you to get full of my word. Yeah. Jesus said in St. John chapter 6 and verse 35, I am the bread of life. Yeah. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Yeah. It is the job of the shepherd yeah. to make sure that the sheep is eating, and make sure that eat, the sheep is eating the right thing. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Psalm 4 writer wrote a song, Bread of Heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Feed me till I want no, no. no more. Somebody say, Feed me. Feed. The Bible says, Taste and see that the yeah. Lord yeah. is good. Yeah. Yeah. 
time. Yes, he will. God is still in. God is still in control. Yes. He is still in charge. Leave tomorrow's problems until tomorrow. Yes, God will need you to steal one, but be careful what you drink. Yes. If the good shepherd don't lead you to the to yes. the water, yes. don't drink it. Yes. It might look good, mm -hmm. but don't drink it. Yes. It might smell good, but don't drink it. Yes. It might be clean, but don't drink it. Yes. It might look refreshing, but don't drink it. You might be thirsty, but don't drink it. If the good shepherd didn't lead you to it, then don't drink it. So God is not going to allow you to see the distance. 
need to mark. You need to understand that your shepherd is still in control. You need to understand that it's not over until he said it's over. Yes. No matter what the mishaps. No matter what tragedies you face in life. No matter what problems and situations you face in life. No matter what difficulties and set, setbacks you face in life. No matter how dark your days get, no need to run. It simply means you need to sit tight and wait on your shepherd. Yeah. Amen. Because your shepherd is still in control. Yeah. Someone once said, when the train goes through a tunnel and the world gets dark, do you jump on the train? You sit still and trust the engineer to get you through. Yes. Next time trouble comes, yes. don't panic, stay on the train. Yes. Next time difficulties come, don't panic, but stay on the train. Yes. Next time disappointment comes, yes. don't panic, but stay on the train. Yes. Next time hardship comes, don't panic, but stay on the train. Amen. 
data of us desirous. And we want to lie, lie down so bad in God's way, pastors. But there's some things that's hindering us from lying down. We can't lie down because we're, we're fearful of other predators. We're fearful of those who are trying to attack our character. We're, we're fearful of those things that try to steal our joy and rob us of our victory. And God said, I'm your shepherd. I'm bigger than your predators. I'm bigger than that. He wants me to let you know the greater that's in you is greater than anything in this whole world. And so I plead this morning first for those of you who are fearful of your predators, the things that life got you just scared, scared to open up mail that said personal and confidential. Scared to answer the phone when you look down and you see that's a bill collector. You feel for you in panic. Find out what you've done in your past. 